Item number SCP-7990, Security Level 3, Containment Class, Safe, Disruption Class, Flam, Risk Class, Notice, Assigned Site, Site 78, Site Director, Leah Victor, Research Head, Greg Chutley, Assigned Task Force, Key 29, Ruck Rats. Special Containment Procedures SCP-7990 is to be held within a containment locker in Site-78 Library with no rugs within a 4.5 meter radius. Foundation web crawlers are to find any listings of SCP-7990A instances being sold on online marketplaces and take them down. Once the location of an instance has been identified, MGF Key 29 Rugrats is to be deployed for instance retrieval. Due to discovery made in Addendum 7993, no further cross-testing is to be performed between SCP-7990 and any book in a set of nine. A set of anomalous books engraved with Roman numerals. Description SCP-7990 is a worn three-ring spiral notebook with the Roman numerals 10 of 9 scrawled into the bottom of the front cover. Despite its superficial resemblance to other books in the set of 9, such as SCP-6419, it is not a part of it. The cover itself reads, Bubble Guide to the Sign of Rugs. Inside of SCP-7990 lies recipes for the construction of various rugs. The recipes for the instances follow a similar pattern. The reader must place the notebook close to the construction area. Foundation research has determined this be within 4.5 meters. Obtain a form of carpeting. Place the required ingredients on the rug. Doing so will create an instance of SCP-7990-A, a carpet with anomalous properties that change based on what recipe was used. These effects can vary widely depending on the recipe, from creating living creatures to moving and creating matter. Discovery SCP-7990 came to the Foundation's attention when law enforcement officers in Sandusky, Ohio performed a drug bust on the lab of Christopher Miller, a street chemist. Inside of his lab, the officers found not drugs but various rugs instead. The officers were around several of the rugs reported hallucinations and other symptoms commonly associated with various street drugs. Foundation agents embedded in the Sedensky Forensics Department alerted to her foundation when text messages to Dotto were found on Miller's recovered phone along with an instance of SCP-7990-A later identified as a Hume rug that appeared to be made entirely of Miller's hair. Key 29 was deployed to the scene to recover SCP-7990 and SCP-7990-A instances, as well as administering amnestics to all affected. Analysis of the recipes contained inside discovered the following that shed light on a Hume rug that appeared to be the remains of Christopher Miller. Recipe 76, Hume Rug Ingredients one human, one rug. Description. Have you ever wondered rug based on loved one? But don't make rug based on all your loved ones. Just help them step on rug and you have rug of them forever. Downside is to be careful not to step on rug or focus around or you may be gone too. Addendum 7991. We covered text messages. The following is an excerpt of the messages obtained from Miller's phone. Miller is represented in blue, while Dotto is in red. Hey Dotto, you see the new word on the street? What word do you speak of? I've been hearing from my contacts that a lot of the major players are looking for these books. Apparently they can do some amazing things. Dotto hear of books. Dotto want nothing to do with book. Why not? Too much heat around book. Dotto like being chill. Dotto no one being involved with Scary, folky ladies. Well, what? Dotto speak too much. 
Well, how about you make your own book then? I've been trying to come up with some new products to sell. Uh, do you think you could make me a little guidebook on how to make some designer rugs? Design rug? There been no design rug before. You, you know what? Double gift try. Double make rug. Double make plenty of rug that peeps want to buy. I mean drugs. Dono, you there? Addendum 7992. Testing logs. Test log 1. Must be used. Number 2. Crack rug. Ingredient. 1 crack. 1 rug. Description. Double better than cuddle. Double figure out how to get more bang for buck. Crack rug good for a whole party. Test summary. D8475, D8956, and D3453 were instructed to place 30 grams of crack cocaine on the carpet provided. The crack cocaine proceeded to dissolve into the rug. 30 seconds later, the rug audibly sneezed, and a cloud of cocaine had exceeded the original amount used dispersed into the air. The cloud expanded to a radius of 30 meters. The D-class proceeded to experience the symptoms of cocaine overdose. The D-class quickly became hyperactive and started yelling about various topics. For safety reasons, the D-class were given Narcon afterwards and returned to their cells. Test Log 3. Recipe used. Number 7. Dotto Flying Carpet. Ingredient. One jet engine. One rug. Description. Double go zoom zoom like Aladdin. With Dotto Flying Carpet, you go anywhere. Test summary. A crane was used to move a TRS-18 jet engine onto a regular sized carpet. The carpet unnumbs the stretch to consume the engine. And after a minute of shaking, it returned back to normal. D-4654 was then instructed to step on the carpet and see what happens. D-4654 stepped on the carpet, which rose up 3 meters in the air before accelerating to 320 kilometers per hour and data expunged. Researchers notes, for the tests are to be conducted in a cell with an open roof. Christ, we'll be cleaning this cell for days. I don't know why I didn't think of this beforehand. My bad. Researcher Chutley. Test dog 6. Let's be used. Number 14. Dotto of the Dotto May Cry series. Ingredient. One fan art of Dotto. One tapestry. Description. Dotto famous anime man. Dotto could be hung up on wall and analyzed by teenage boys everywhere. It Dotto Showtime. Come on. Test summary. D0943 was told to draw what they thought a man named Dotto could look like and to place it on the wall tapestry provided. The tapestry then transformed into an instance of SCP-7990-A that resembled a wall scroll with a much more detailed drawing of Dotto in an anime style wielding a sword and gun. Researchers notes. Dotto made a recipe to make sexy anime man wall scrolls of himself? That's... Entirely reasonable. Researcher Chutley. Test Dog 9. Recipe used. Number 13. Dotto End of World Scenario. Ingredient. One globe. One banana. One rug. Description. Other artists have idea about what End of World look like. Dotto also have idea. You sell Dotto or the museum and make both lots of money. Test summary. D3784 placed the requisite items on the bug, which consumes the items and transformed into a banana-themed instance of SCP-7990-A. Nothing occurred until a minute later when a banana appeared in the room. Another minute passed and two bananas spawned. After 30 minutes, when the exponential banana growth showed no sign of stopping, a member of MTF Key 29 entered the room and torched the instance before any more damage could be done. Researchers notes. Bananas? Dotto thinks the world will end with infinite bananas? I mean, they were tasty, but the last thing we needed was another SCP-873 on our hands. Researcher Chutley. Test Dog 13. Let's be used. Number 28. 
Dolo Telerog. In feed, one piece of paper with Latin long. One rug. Description. Sometimes you want to go place and have rug with no transport, so Dotto will make it so you can go to rug from rug. Test summary. D1243 was instructed to write the coordinates of one place that they always wanted to go. D1243 decided on Paris, France. They were given the coordinates for Paris. After the carpet absorbed the paper, they stepped on the rug and ended up in the bedroom of a prominent French politician. This caused a slight scandal as the politician came home to find the D-class in the bedroom with the wife in the bathroom. SCPFR quickly moved to amnesticize the couple once their location was found and any media covering the scandal was covered up. Researchers notes. Well, in true Dotto fashion, it appears if you don't specify, say, what rug you like to teleport to, it chooses a random rug or carpet anywhere in the location you want it. Researcher Chutley. Addendum 7993. Video log of Test 15. After discovering a particular recipe inside of SCP-7990, Researcher Chutley requested Site Director Victor to use SCP-6952 with SCP-7990 as the recipe called for a book from the set of nine. Victor accepted her proposal and the following footage was recorded by Researcher Chutley from the test. Begin recording. This is Greg Chutley, Supervising Researcher on the set of nine. This will be a test number 15 on SCP-7990. Just waiting for Researcher Johnston to arrive with the anomaly. Chutley turns as Researcher Maria Johnston enters the room with two members of MTF Omega-45, Street Samurai. Johnston, it's good to see you again. I take it you've brought a book. One of the MTFs hands Johnston an adamantine case, which she unlocks with her keycard and procures SCP-6952. Same to you, Chutley. I thought you were in pataphysics. There's been a general lack of new anomalies in pataphysics, so Victor had me transfer to better use my talents elsewhere. Must have been boring with nothing to do in pataphysics. How are you keeping busy? <laughs> Don't tell Victor, but League of Legends. <sighs> Same old Chutley. Anyways, what is this test? I thought Director Victor said the books were to remain apart. This isn't even part of the set of nine. Well, hear me out, all right. While we were analyzing the recipes, I found this. Chutley grabs SCP-7990 and flips to the back of it. Ahem! Ahem! Recipe number 78. Mystery Revealed Ingredient. One of famous book. One rug. Description. Do you want to know more about author of books? That I certainly do. Place one of nine book on carpet, and the vision of author be revealed. Well, that certainly sounds like he's talking about the set of nine. I get your line of thinking, though. This might be our first clue on who wrote these things. So what do I do? Just drop the book into the carpet you have lying here? Just don't step on it. What happens if I do? Do you want to be a rug? No. And avoid stepping on it. Justin holds SCP-6952 over the rug and drops the anomaly onto the carpet. The carpet rolls up over the books and begins shaking and trembling. It then unfurls and tosses SCP-6952 into Researcher Johnston's hands. The book suddenly opens and flips to a certain page. Incompatible book mechanized. Please place with the other eight books in order to forge the ultimate weapon? So there is a point to gathering all nine. Oh, Johnston, there's a note on our carpet. A newly created instance of SCP-7990-A has a piece of paper lying on it. Researcher Chutley picks up the note and reads from it. They are not associated my work with cheap copies. You've only found two pieces of the puzzle thus far. Seven remain. Good luck. Cora. Cora? Name of the Celtic snake goddess of life, death, fertility, and wisdom. 
Well, at least we have a name now. This is a lot. We need to talk to Psych Director Victor about this now. End log.